si Steph na nga ang ating third and Evicti and sa Community ang Edition natin. Wow. Uh, again, parang last week, no? Ang hirap makapag-decide. Tama. Ito din naman, si Steph is like the baby girl of the house. And I think not, it's hard. It's hard kasi like, Shane Bunso and everyone, you know, kind of like babies her and all that, but mm-hmm. yun nga, siya na talaga yung si Steph na our latest evictee of community teens this yes. edition. Yes, pero we have seen her her grow as well, di ba? Kasi mm-hmm. yung insecurities niya, she was able to conquer all those things. We have seen okay. her fight. We have seen her uh, come out of her shell. So, mm-hmm. congratulations pa rin kay Steph for a a uh, wonderful PBB journey sign. Correct. She grew so much. Because if you think about it, talaga, from before, I remember the first week, pa lang, like she was saying, or th- first or second week, she was saying that, parang like, she was having a hard time, na para magisama, kasi para mm. iba yung ugali niya, para magia in pa siya. I was insecure siya about. Because if I remember the first week, pa lang, insecure siya as about the camera being so close to her face. Because of members. her acne, yeah. Acne, so, oh. but then now I see her, na parang like. She's very jolly, very happy, doesn't you know, is not shy anymore, and that's what Kuya's house. I know, eh, that's the magic of Kuya's house. It eh. brings yeah. out the best of people. At sa kayo, I know. Remember when she was feeling left out? Yung uh-huh. uh, dahil hindi siya makabilong, uh, and then she was just insecure, baka ayos kanya. And then look at her now, de ba? Talagang uh, nakisama siya ng. Uh, masaya, maayos sa mga kasama niya sa loob ng bahay. Kanina, pinagbaon pa siya ice cream. Yeah, as if wala din sa labas, no? <laughs> <laughs> Gusto mo yun yung ano, may pa-ice cream siya, kaya habang pinapanood niya yung ano, that kinarain niya kanina, hmm. tapos yun naiiyak siya sa ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Pero, <laughs> pero, this stuff talaga like, you know, she, the way she speaks, parang you know that she's still the baby girl. And the baby she girl. So, oh, yeah. She has so much potential. The true battle, as we always say, is held here. Yeah. And I know for a fact that so many things can happen to her. So I think or I believe that she won't be too bummed out, naman. Because again, at 15 years old, the world is ahead of her. Definitely, definitely. At uh, napakaganda ano, no? Uh, Para sa Barbie doll. So yeah, the the world awaits her here sa uh, paglabas na niya ng bahay ni Kuya. But congratulations to to Rob and Stephanie staying strong, di ba? Three weeks yes. in a row sila Three and weeks, they are diba? still here. And, and I mean, again, we can talk about Stephanie for a little bit kasi si Stephanie talaga, again, this week we showed, we were able to see glimpse of of how strong she is in the house. Although kanina, syempre sa past, um, may suggestion siya na parang hindi siya nag-work. But you know, she, she, ano, she admits it was her fault. She takes the blame. And hey, again, not a lot of people are willing to take blames if it was their fault, you know? Yeah, that, that's what's beautiful about Stephanie. She calls oh. out when something is wrong, but she doesn't act like she's perfect. She apologizes, she admits, she admits to her faults. Yun yung maganda sa kanya eh. Kasi, akala mo, baka sa, dahil nag-call out siya. But when she commits mistakes, she apologizes and recognizes recognizes what she has done wrong, di ba? Yes. And that is a very rare trait to have nowadays. Mm-hmm. Uh, lalo na, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, I mean, not, not not shading anyone, but like legit, there are a lot of people out there who never admit their mistake and would, you know, pretend, ah, hindi, dapat ganito, ikaw kasi, kasalanan mo, hindi mo ginawa itong sinasabi ko. But I'm like, kaya yeah, yun. And, ano, uh, Rob naman, si Rob, ayan, once again, uh, Staying strong at number one. Oh, oh, oh the landslide, but then in the way to a certain extent, the twenty-seven percent, yeah, that and the and see Stephanie was at sixteen percent. That's uh, that's a solid, I uh, know, solid thirty-plus percent lead over. And, uh, I think and the vote to evict niya negative, uh, negative zero, zero something yeah. lang. See, so I guess that means Steph he's well liked outside. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm. Kaya ang mga ano dyan, Rob Singh, kanina ang mga nagpapakitang gila sa atin on Kumu, ang Rob Singh. Congratulations sa mga supporters, solid Rob fans dyan. And we can't wait to see more of Rob and Stephanie. Tsaka mga iba niyong inaabang ang mga housemates pa. But unfortunately, again, ang journey ni Steph ends tonight. But it's a start of a new journey for her as she faces 
the real world. Yes, but I'm like, itong Big Brother might just be an experience for her in a way. If you look at it, if you look at life as a whole story, but it's a prequel pa lang siya. Yung totoong kwento na sa buhay, mga yari pa yan later down the road. So I am intrigued, excited for Steph to see what our new stuff that's going to happen for her in the coming years. But for now, she is our latest evictee. Yeah, sa ating third evictee. Pero, sa, alam mo saan ako curious, Richard? Sa ano? Nasaan kaya yung mga ano, ice cream? Nung nandun siya sa confession room. Iniwan na doon. Iniwan na doon. Natunaw na lahat. Inaano kaya ni Kuya? Steph. Steph, bitawan mo ang mga ice cream. Iwan ang mga ice cream. <laughs> Bainan mo na lang. Ba- Bagos na lang sa'yo mamaya. <laughs> Or mamaya, tingnan natin sa pagsalubong nila Ate B, nila Kuya Robby, Kuya Ensong, and ni Ate Melay. Kay Steph, yan ang ating abangan kung hawak niya ba ang mga ice cream. And I want to know the story behind that. Bakit uh, gusto niya ang ice cream. But for now, sabay-sabay natin sa lubong ngayon ang ating... Uh, Latest evictee ng Kumuni Teens, si Steph. Si Bibi, 